What's up everybody and welcome back to another live stream from the Scalar Learning channel and today we are back at it with digital SAT prep leading up to this new digital SAT that is coming around the corner. It's coming very soon. We're less than two weeks away and we are continuing with the Khan Academy review of all these topics on the foundations level moving on to right triangle trigonometry. If you, those of you who have been following us along on this journey at Super Fun, we're going through all the critical skills that you're going to need to nail the math portion of the digital SAT. And for those of you who are new, make sure to check us out. We're going to be posting tons of content in the next week and a half. So uh, very, very good stuff coming down the pipeline. Without further ado, let's go. We're going to solve four problems in real time for the first time. And I'm going to be explaining the problems as I go through and solve. So that's the way that I like to teach. And I think one of the most effective ways to do test prep is to show example problems. All right, here we go. Question number one, let's expand this a little bit. All right, <clears throat> so we got triangle ABC is shown. What is cosine of ABC? So they say cosine of angle ABC, that center letter, that's the angle. So we're talking about really angle B, okay? So what is cosine? So we remember so -ka toa our trigonometry little uh, mnemonic device. And cosine is... Cosine is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. Sine is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. Tangent is equal to opposite over adjacent. So what does that mean? If we're doing cosine of angle B, a.k.a. angle A, B, C, that's equal to the adjacent side to B, which is the, the adjacent leg, okay, 8 over the hypotenuse, which is the longest side opposite the right angle. So it's 8 over 4 rad 5. Now, I don't think they have this exact answer here. Yeah, so they don't have this exact answer here. What did they do? They simplified it, right? Eight divided by four is two, so we got two rad five, but they don't even have this, right? What did they do? They rationalized the denominator. We don't like to have a radical in the denominator. So what we do is we multiply by itself, rad five over rad five, and then we get two rad five, and rad five times itself is just five, and there we go. Option A is the winner. Boom, done. All right, next. And the right triangle shown the length of AC equals four right here. And the length of AB is six. What is the length of BC? All right. This is a Pythagorean theorem uh, problem, right? We don't even need to, per se like sine, cosine, or tangent. Although you could, I suppose, do it in a roundabout way. But the best way is this is our X, right? That's one of the legs. That's another leg. That's the hypotenuse. Let's use Pythagorean's theorem. Leg squared plus the other leg squared excuse me, is equal to c squared or the hypotenuse squared, which in this case is 6 squared. That's x squared plus 16 is equal to 36. Subtract 16 from both sides. x squared is equal to 20. And then x, or the unknown, is equal to the square root of 20. Now, to simplify this, remembering that 20 is 4 times 5, we take the square root of 4, which is 2, and the 5 stays inside. And that is our length of BC. Let's see if they have it. 2 red 5. There it is. A is the winner. On. Question number three. Triangle ABC is shown. What is sine of ABC? So again, that's angle B, right? The central center letter. So ABC. So sine, going back to so ka toa, and sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So the opposite leg over the hypotenuse. So 10 over square root of 109. And then we're going to uh, rationalize it again by multiplying by rad 109 over rad 109. And then we get 10 rad 109 over 109, which means B is the winner. Done. All right, last one. Here we go. Um, what is the length of BC? Again, this is a Pythagorean theorem situation, right? So we've got... The length of BC, which is X, that's a leg. And we know from Pythagorean's theorem for a right triangle, one leg squared plus the other leg squared is equal to the hypotenuse squared. That's X squared plus 16 is equal to 81. Subtract 16 from both sides to isolate. X squared equals 65. And then last but not least, we take the square root of both sides and that missing leg is equal to uh, square root of 65. Whoops, sorry. Uh, and this is not, we can't simplify this, right? There's no perfect squares in 65. 65 is 5 times 13, two prime numbers, and that's that. So we get our answer is A. Boom, done. All right, that's it, guys. Thank you guys so much for joining. If you like this video, make sure to click that like button. If you want to see more from the Scalar Learning Channel, make sure to click subscribe. 
And last but not least, if you haven't checked out the SATcrashcourse.com, the link is in the description below. Use the code SCALAR for 20% off. It's the best of the best when prepping for the digital SAT. New frontier, new resources. Check them out. I've partnered with them officially, and I've got my video explanations up with their first 10 practice test. Every single question is explained by yours truly. So make sure to check that out. Thank you guys so much for joining, and I will see you in the next video. Take it easy.